mommy brain. Dude, mommy brain is so real. Yeah, it's real. It's real. It's real. I hope you're all ready for a generous helping of deep and meaningful conversation, which hopefully we can turn into action. Because, <laughs> as you all know. Because I think once you turn meaningful conversation into action, game changer. Um, okay. I literally will put a thought down in my head and it's gone when I go back for it. Like, I'm like, wait, what was I just thinking about for an hour? Like I'm not sure that that's uh, mummy brain or just... Uh, your brain, Julia. <laughs> I literally put a thought down in my head. By the way, you can't literally put a thought down in your head. Just, I, I don't mean, you can't. Like it's, it's gotten better crazy. for me, but the first year afterward, I was so, like I thought I was just gonna be stupid forever. No, uh, a thousand times, no. I thought I was gonna be like literally stupid forever. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like the first, I was finishing the book when I'd had Sly and I was like three months postpartum and I was like trying to find words and there would just nothing would come up. And I was like, I'm, I'm going to kill myself. Like, I actually don't know who I am anymore. I like don't have vocabulary. I don't know how to communicate. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can totally relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> I refuse to believe that Emily Ratajkowski, you couldn't communicate your thoughts properly. <laughs> I was like, Literally gonna kill myself. I love the reaction of Julia. It was just like, oh, that's so relatable. And then I was like, <laughs> she just said she was feeling suicidal. <laughs> that's so relatable. And actually I was, now that I'm in my process of writing the book now, mm -hmm. I was thinking like, how do women do this when they have children? Like this is impossible. And then I thought of you and I was like, well, she fucking did it. So I'm gonna fucking do it. I was like, literally, I can't do this. And then I thought, well, that fucking idiot did it, so I can do it. So thank you. So since I don't trust the educational system, what and and there's, you know, the, the teachers are so underpaid and mistreated and <laughs> fuck me, what does it come to? Julia Fox doesn't trust the educational system. Damn you! How has it come to this? Julia Fox has lost faith in public institutions. God damn it! And I just think it would be so cool to like create a little pod of kids and then like just outsource higher educators to come in and it could yeah. literally be like a mechanic we right. just hire a mechanic we hire a lawyer for the day we hire even a policeman or like whoever but like because kids need to know the law they need to know their rights like they need to know the like those are things that I did not know that was not taught to me I had to go seek out that information myself <laughs> the level of disconnected privilege is it's through the roof. Wouldn't it be great if we could just like hire educators like a mechanic? Oh sure, I'll just pay a guy a thousand dollars a day. <laughs> I think my kid's like broken or something because he doesn't know the constitution. And I've totally like lost faith in the education system. So if you could literally just like fix them for me or whatever. I just really want more and I feel like there's there's a lot of room for development in the educational sphere. Yeah. And, you know, I would love for Valentino to learn farming and how to plant and grow things and, you know, how to take the leaf off one You're like plant prepping and... for the apocalypse. Yeah. You're like, when the world ends, you know, Valentino's going to know what the I'm fuck ready. is up. Yeah. <laughs> I, want to... <laughs> I want him to, like, learn farming and, like, to pick leaves off plants. Yeah, he's gonna know what the fuck is up when the fucking, like, world ends. He'll be, like, picking leaves off plants, and he'll be like, hey, Valentino knows what the fuck is up. He's doing, like, farming and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's here. Because he needs to learn actually useful life skills. And oh, God, I, I, I've got, a, just on a serious point now, I know a lot of people say that, that school doesn't teach you life skills and stuff like that, but th that's not what he's there for. And I, I don't want to sound patronizing, but a lot of people say this all the time. <clears throat> oh, they're not teaching them to become mechanics or farmers or you know that's not the point of school right you can learn as an apprentice when you're 15 16 17 to become an electrician or a plumber or something like that uh, but you need to learn to read and write and do maths really early if you're going to be really good at it when you're older you need to learn the basics when you're like four or five uh, otherwise you're just always playing catch up right you don't need to teach a four-year-old how to use a power drill they can learn when they're older. <laughs> you know, it was only very recently in history that 
academic education became available to everyone, we started to see it as a right, give everyone the opportunity to access what had always been sort of esoteric knowledge reserved for the elites of society. And, yeah, you know, the world is going in a scary place right mm -hmm. now. I pretty much in my teens learned that I was a commodity and that I can get money or re resources mm -hmm. from men. Mm -hmm. BE GONE, fuck. Then it just became this game of, okay, how do I become more desirable so I can yeah. get more money and I can be like that bitch and, and, and you know. And be powerful. Yeah, and yeah. turning. But it's still powerful, like, through them, though. You know, like, it's still them giving me the power. It's not my own yes. power, you know. <laughs> Talk about having your cake and eating it, Julia. She recognizes her massively privileged position as a beautiful woman means that men will give her money and resources. But that's, like, not fair, because they decide to give it to me when I should just be, like, be able to take it from them. They've still, like, got some of the power. It's about as delusional a take as I've ever heard. So, you, it, it's... I mean, it's a humiliating kind of position yeah. to be be in. I, you could just, you know, not keep taking money from men. Or humbling, rather. Yeah, like, especially when you're not in it anymore and you look mm -hmm. back and you're like, oh my God, you know, I can't well, believe... Well, you feel sick while it's happening, mm -hmm. right? What exactly are they talking about? <laughs> You're like, you feel you special. Well, I disassociate. Yeah. I'm me too. really good at just, I'm out. Oh, like, yeah, no. I didn't even realize I did that until I wrote the book. And I was like, oh, holy shit. I've been disassociating like through my whole 20s. What have these two been doing to get money from men that has caused them to dissociate? That's, I don't think I even want to know. But I mean, I get dissociation in the sense that, you know, you've got a very public persona from a very young age. But they're talking about it in the context of receiving money from men, I don't know, who have power over them. We were talking about this when we had wine. Yeah. Um, and I was saying, like, the only problem for me is sex. I like sex. Yeah. 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 You see, I don't. Like, I, know. I can go without. I'm, like, so good. Uh, I And we were talking about that. It really made me think about, actually, like, Marilyn Monroe, um, because she did not like sex either. Yeah. And I think when you're sexualized so young, yeah. people think you're really sexual. Absolutely. And you were saying that happened. that's always been a thing, yeah. and you were a dominatrix and everything, but that doesn't necessarily... I'm really desensitized to sex, too. Yeah. Whew, that vocal fry is insane. <laughs> so she was a dominatrix. That's why she had to dissociate, because she was standing on men's balls for money. Those damn men with all their power, eh? Like, it just, it's not, like, thrilling for me. I'm sorry, I give up. There's no way. No one speaks like that. That is not a normal human voice. It's fake. Nobody should have a voice with that much vocal fry. There's a practical life skill they could teach at school. <laughs> How not to talk like an Instagram thought. You know? Yeah. It doesn't excite you. No. Like, I want to, like, take ayahuasca and, like, see God, you know? Like, that <laughs> like, to that's me is thrilling. Thrill. Yeah. Like, to yeah. me, that's cool. Yeah. Like, like... Yeah, there's another practical life skill that you could teach in your pod of children. You know, while you're hiring mechanics and things, you could hire a dominatrix to teach the kids how, you know, sex isn't that thrilling. Look, this is as good as it gets. You stand on the balls and you crush the balls into the floor and that's about as good as it gets. Now let's take some illegal drugs and see God, because that's really fun. Just having, it just seems so like trivial to me. Like I, I probably won't even come because they, yeah. it doesn't, they don't know how. They don't know how. And Forgive me if I'm some kind of massive prude, but uh, I don't like it when people say stuff like that. It makes me feel physically sick. And it's, it's uh, like, gross. what are you getting from it? Yeah, dirty. I know, I feel like you're Man. dirty. Ooh. Yeah, sex is disgusting, but um, being a dominatrix, now that's fine, you can just dissociate. What's disgusting about that is the patriarchy. You know, the fact that the men are giving you the money to stand on their balls. That's what's really disgusting. 
Oh, masculinity is so limiting and it does make me sad there's actually um this bell hooks book that i will get you a copy of i'll order it send it oh my god they're all the same aren't they it's they're talking about the book that harry styles read the book that harry styles read i read uh the will to change by bell hooks which i found, i thought was like the best um kind of explanation of like the history of um, kind of toxic masculinity and male rage and all of those things, which... Jesus Christ. Make yeah. it to Valentino, but it's um, called The Will to Change Men, Masculinity, and Love. And um, it's so good because her whole argument, which, like, pissed a lot of feminists off, was, like, sexism's bad for everyone. Like, patriarchy is bad for everyone. Mm-hmm. And, like, men not being able to express themselves. And, like, men are in their flop era. I'm actually doing a show yeah. episode about it. It's crazy. Like, they're not, they're living with their parents way longer. They don't have close relationships. The suicide rate are, is up. Like, they're not making as much money. They're not graduating, like, school. They're failing. Even, like, programs that are meant to incentivize young kids, like, girls do really well in those programs. And yeah, that's the patriarchy. So, all of these things are getting worse because we're getting more masculine as a society, right? Yeah. There could not have been a time in history when there was less stigma around mental health. For men and expression of their feelings and being in touch with their feminine side and all that kind of shite, right? But suicide rates are going up, so must be the patriarchy. And little boys don't, which is so, I mean, obviously as a mom to a son, it makes me really sad and scared. And I'm like, yeah, obviously fucking sexism is terrible for women. Like, you and I know that personally, Mm -hmm. you know, we've seen it. Again, I don't know the specifics of what they have been through to get where they are, but uh, how can they not see any positives from, you know, like the objectification of women? They would be nobodies if men weren't drooling over hot women. Can't you show just a little bit of appreciation, you know, for how easy you've had it? But also, it's really bad for guys. Yeah. And like, some part of me of course, feels empathetic. Like, I'm pissed. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah. I mean, how can you not, you yeah. know? Because at the end of the day, like, we're all just people. And mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I say I hate men, but that's mm-hmm. not true, you know? I don't actually hate men. I hate the patriarchy, and yeah. I hate what it's done to men. Yes. Uh, it's such a bizarre take, and so many people say this, that the, that the patriarchy is causing men to commit suicide, that, that it's the fact that they can't express their emotions... There has not been a time in the Western world when men have been less stigmatized for uh, talking about their mental health. I think about my parents' generation or my grandparents' generation. They weren't very emotional people. (laughs) And yet, there's a positive correlation, you know? The more we express our emotion, the more (laughs) men are committing suicide. I don't think it's a cause and effect relationship. I'm not saying that. Um, And of course, it, it can be good to speak to people about your emotions from time to time. I do think some people get addicted to that, though, and um, it it can be negative. But uh, this idea that society is becoming more patriarchal and there's more stigma around expressing your emotions as a man, and that's what's killing men. Maybe what's killing men is the destruction of the idea of the archetype of what a man was. Maybe it was that 80 years ago, you couldn't live with your parents, as Emily Ratajkowski said, you couldn't live with your parents until you're 30. You know, uh, playing on the PlayStation, uh, smoking pot, <laughs> wanking to internet porn. Now you had to get out there and uh, get a job, and uh, you were desperate to get away from your parents, of course, and you wanted to uh, find a wife as quickly as possible while you were still in your early 20s, probably. <laughs> I'm going back generations now. But the things, the steps, The goals in life were much clearer. Things were much more clearly defined. And, um, I don't know, too much freedom? In principle, it's a good thing, but we need need rules to the game, right? And there are no rules. There are fewer rules now than there ever have been, in some sense. You know, there's, what do you do with your life? Why go out and get a job? Why commit to a relationship when there's Tinder? Um, But, you know, obviously there are really amazing, wonderful men out there. You've got to wonder how many amazing men she comes into contact with being a drugged up former dominatrix Hollywood actress. (laughs) 
<laughs> there are obviously a lot of amazing men out there. Yeah, with that voice, I, I feel like perhaps any amazing men that are out there might give you somewhat of a wide berth. Mm -hmm. I've just yet to meet one, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all know what laughter sounds like. That's how no, I feel I'm kidding. Too. I know some good guys. I know some good I guys. I know, but I think what you're saying is like, it's the system. It's almost like good cops and bad cops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you replace the word cops with men. Some good men and some bad men. You're like, yeah, I'm sure there's some nice, there's some nice people who work in the police force, but one bad apple spoils the bunch. And does it? I mean, apples, yes, but one bad man makes all men bad. And and also, yeah, it's like if you're one of the good ones, but you're not speaking up for, you know, what, mm -hmm. what the bad one's doing, that makes you one of the bad ones. You know, silence is complicit. Could you just, I need, what do you want me to do? I kind of like always loved music and, and yeah, we're definitely going to write a song together. <laughs> Yo, I'm ready to drop a track. I know. I could also just imagine you performing, like performance art being oh, your thing. It would be all about the performance. When you said rock star, I was like, yeah, obviously I can picture you writing songs, but I yeah. can picture you on stage, like performing music yeah. more than anything oh. i'll be in the back with the like <laughs> tambourine <laughs> i'm like i'm here i see a tambourine for you i'm down that. well i speak well i think i speak for every one of us who's sat through this video today i think we all go away from this uh a lot stupider see you in the next one like share and subscribe